find the surface area of a four meter high circular cone with a base of three meters in diameter. So to find this surface area, we're going to have to find the area of the lateral section of the cone and the base section of the cone. For the base section of the cone, I'll be right here. Base. That's pretty simple. We'll do um, pi r squared. So we need to find our r real quick, which is half of this three meter diameter. So r equals 1.5 meters. We'll call this the base view. Um, and we are R is 1.5. A base is equal to pi R squared. So A base, I'm just plugging that in. That will be, I'm plugging in this R right here. Uh, my paper right here, where is it at? 7.1 meters squared. Okay, that's what I'd call the easy part of the problem. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's going to be the total of this lateral area, this um, this area that sort of stretches around the cone, and the base, which is down here, and it's also in this view. So this will be the uh, cone view. And. I'll also write maybe up here, I'll write full um, A total equals A base plus A lateral, right? So now we need to find the lateral area, right? Well, lateral is a little tricky because you know you don't see any clear way of getting the area there. But what I've done is I've attached an image. And if you can imagine um, kind of taking this cone if it was like paper or something and just rolling it or stretching it out I'll call this the uh, rolled out view this is what you'd get now this is something we're familiar with because if you look at this this is a circular sector and if you're not familiar with this I have videos on circular sectors and how to solve them but we have everything we need to solve um, the circular sector the circular sector the area here this area this area is going to be equal to one half this um, parameter C and this variable C and this variable L. So we have the area, we just need to find out what C is and we need to find out what L is. Well, C is the circumference of this base, right? That's the circumference of this base. So we can find that. That would be 2 pi r. So C. It's going to be 2 pi times 1.5. Okay. So, 2 times pi times 1.5, 9.4 meters. Okay, we have the C. Now, L, L corresponds to this um, length here. I've heard it called like the slant height stuff like that but it's just this length here well we don't know L right but we do know that it's four meters high this is H is four meters we do know that this R is 1.5 meters right and we know the C but that's not important for this problem so with this uh, with these two variables here we can use right triangle trig um, get this on Good enough. So here's our right triangle view from the side. We have 1.5 and we have 4 meters high. And we want to know this value L here. Well, that would just be L squared is equal to 1.5 squared plus 4 squared. And that's going to be L is equal to the square root of 1.5 squared plus 4 squared. And then L would be finally equal to 4.27. So now we have our L. We would, um, oh, this should be called A lateral. 
that's what I called it earlier. Sorry about that. Remember, this is this is just the lateral surface area going across here. This is also lateral. So a lateral equals one half the circumference, which is nine point four. And um, the uh, slant length or length, which is 4.27. And that would give you um, 20.1 meters squared. So now we have our A lateral. We have our A lateral, we have our A base. And now we know A total. is the lateral area plus the base area a total is equal to 20.1 meters squared oh fuck um, oh sorry I got the wrong plus 7.1 meters squared I thought I did the problem wrong, sorry. Twenty seven point two meters squared or roughly twenty seven meters squared. Yeah, I think the tough part of this problem is finding the lateral area. Um you just gotta be able to translate that L to here to kind of view it like that. And remember this this angle doesn't really matter. Uh, don't get tripped up on that because you should know circular sectors generally end up with this.